Morning, everybody. Welcome to the new studio and to a review of Lucid Sound's new LS20s. So, if you've known me for a long time, you know that I think these products are absolutely fantastic. I love Lucid Sound. I think they make a great headset. That's not going to be the focus of this review because they really do make a great headset. It's a quality piece of equipment. It's beautiful. It's all metal construction. You know you're getting good stuff with well, anything made by the Lucid Sound guys. So today we're going to talk instead about the features of this headset and kind of my experience with using it for an entire week. So the first thing I'd like to point out is that this is the LS20. It is the little brother of the LS40, which is uh, the big surround sound, the big stereo surround sound headset, and kind of the littler version of the LS30, which is the last headset that I got when we were at E3 last year, uh, which is an excellent headset as well, and is more of an on-ear, and this is more of an over-ear. This guy is rose gold, maybe a little hard to see in the uh, camera lens, because the lighting in here does not, it's, it's a cold white light in here, so it's a little hard to tell uh, the true color. Your cups are leather, or leatherette, rather and super soft. I normally hate on-ear ear cups uh, more than anything else on this planet because they hurt my fucking gigantic ears. Uh, these guys are super duper soft. I right, press on them there, you can see how soft they are. There's plenty of give. And then on the inside of the actual headphone itself, right here, there's a small piece of really soft, uh, sort of like, I would say it's almost, it's like a lycra material, it's stretchy material. This little soft piece of stretchy material means that even if you're all the way down like my ear is and you're feeling up against this, it still is a soft piece of fabric on it. The attention to detail on these things is, is just stellar. Look right here, you can see that this is a piece of metal right here and it's just sort of bent and it just, it just looks so good. I love the look of these headphones. These are obviously designed to have a high-end look. Uh, one of the more unique features on this one is that it has a twistable on both sides. They turn so if your head is a strange or funny shape like mine, you're going to be able to easily use your headset with a, as much comfort as possible. Uh, on the side here, you can see that this panel actually conceals the wire that goes up here. So that's why you can remove this panel so you can get to the wire if there's any wiring issues. On the top we have a quilted headband, very comfortable to wear for a long time. Uh, I wore these for uh, three entire days, basically back to back, uh, from and to work and everything without any major issues. Comfort wise, these headphones, fantastic. Truly have rarely used a pair of headphones that I have enjoyed. Comfort wise, these headphones, fantastic. Truly have rarely used a pair of headphones that I have found more comfortable, more, more interesting to use than these guys. I just really, really like the way that they feel on my head. Now, since I have a bigger head, your mileage may vary on how much you like this headset if you have a smaller head. Um, but, as you can see, it does get a little bit of sort of, uh, I guess we'll call this an attitude, a little side attitude here, where it's not completely straight. Uh, I have a big head, so the ear cups have a bit of play in them, but not a lot. So if you have a really small head, these may not be for you. Other than that, the adjustments and the way that the headset adjusts, um, it does get incredibly big if you have a huge head. Um, it gets really big without any troubles, and it does hold the head pretty well. Uh, one of the reasons I sort of hate on-ear headphones is that they fall off when you move around. No such problem with these guys. None at all. So aesthetically extremely pleasing. Um, I would have preferred the dark color, but they sent me the rose gold, so it is available in, in two colors. Uh, along the top we also have the really nice embossed lucid sound. It's really hard to see that on camera, but there you see it says lucid sound across the top there embossed. That is absolutely beautiful high-end touch. This is leather embossing on top, up on the top. It just gives it that really nice professional touch that uh, you don't get in some other products. I really like that. 
So now let's talk about the features of this headset. Features wise, this is a absolutely a complete and total amazing headset. Um, I love this thing. So right now, there's nothing plugged into it. It just is a naked hole, um, and the microphone's not plugged in either. But I will tell you about this headset and then plug in the uh, actual headphone wire, which is right behind me, so you can see it. So first of all, this is a powered headset. It's an amplified powered headset. So if I hold down this power button, you'll see that lights up. It's really hard to see what color it's lighting up, but that is purple. There we go. So it lights up purple. Now, uh, that purple light means that it's on amplified mode for gaming. And if I press it and hold it again, it should turn blue. Now, that blue mode there means that we're now amplified for headset. And then if I press and hold it again, it should turn red. Now that means that we are on amplification for music and regular headset. Now, what does that mean? Well, amplified headsets put additional power into the speaker drivers in the side. So what you're going to get is some more sound, some louder sound just off the bat. You're going to get louder sound. You're going to get more control. There's a button over here. Let's see if we can get the camera to focus on that button. That's the EQ button over here. So you're going to be able to use that onboard equalizer. I believe there are four uh, total settings in that onboard equalizer. There we go. And so I will look those up and put them in the video description. And you're going to be able to use that onboard equalizer and you're going to be able to use the controls that are on board. Now on this headphone, which we can clearly see is marked as the right headphone, we have a click, an in-click. It does not make enough noise to make a clicking noise, unfortunately. But um, you can click in this headphone here, so you have one control here. And then on this side, you have another click in. That one makes a clicking noise. And then you also have a rotation here. And this rotation is for volume. Now, the, when you have the powered mode on, when it's on red like this, those controls will work with your phone, mobile device, anything you want it to work with that, that can uh, accept the clicking, that can accept controls. Um, and for a phone, I believe when it's on, this is like the mute, and this is the start, stop, play button. And then you can turn the volume up and down using this ring here. Uh, this is a very cool feature. Uh, if you keep your phone in your pocket, say if you're running, or if you're just at work, or you don't want to pull your phone out, and it's too loud, you can pretty easily turn it down just by sort of reaching up and doing a, a swivel here. Uh, one thing I will say is that you can see there's a bit of a, a bit of, a bit of, I guess I'd call it scratching here. Um, I wore these only for like three and a half days, and this these little grooves on here tend to sort of catch the the detritus of the world. Um, if you set them down on their side, you have to be a little careful because this is a very it's a very pretty surface. It's a grooved surface. It sort of reminds me of a record. I think they're really going for that gold record look here, but this does catch uh, all kinds of stuff. Now you can pretty easily clean it out with a Q-tip or other uh, piece of material, but that is something to keep in mind. So. Uh, the removable headphone jack is a really cool feature, usually restricted to much higher end headphones. Uh, my own Audio-Technica M50s utilize that, so we're going to plug in the, the headset here. Just, I love the little details. You can see the Lucid Sound logo on there. This is a standard 3.5mm jack, uh, nothing complex or complicated about it. Uh, just 3.5 to 3.5, perfect for your mobile phone, whatever you're plugging in basically. Uh, and then now we're in powered headset mode, so if I plug this into my phone right now, you will see that we are using you. We are using power. Uh, so, oh, it's powered. So, how do we give it more juice? Well, I have the answer for you right here. So, right here, I happen to have a you know here's a just a little USB mini, and it just gets plugged in. It's upside down. Cords proof fourth dimensionality after all. There we go. Just like that, it gets plugged in, and you're going to charge it, and it can charge and be used simultaneously. So if I was to say be sitting at my desk and have a phone charging station at my desk, then I could very easily, uh, I could very easily charge it with my normal phone charger and also listen to my music at the same time. You do have to kind of remember to charge it. The charge only holds for a couple of days with regular use. Um, I used it for about three days in both powered and unpowered modes, and uh, I found that the battery had run out by the time I was on my third day. And I did not recharge it at all during that time period. So, let's flip them over. This is the, the proper, I guess, right and proper front of the headset, if you will. Um, this little port here is where you'll put the microphone if you're going to be gaming. I like that they give you a little plug to plug it up so it's not like a giant hole. These headsets, uh, all of the Listen Sound headsets, are designed with gaming in mind first. Um, if you're looking for high-end neutral audiophile headphones, 
this is not really your jam. Um, maybe look for something that's a little bit more neutral. These guys uh, are a little bass heavy, but they're perfect for gaming. Um, the directional sound is great, and they just sound really good in video games. They're really tuned for that video game tune. Even though this one has an onboard EQ setting on it, uh, you really don't get what you want on that EQ. So that's a pretty good segue. Let's segue into sound quality. So uh, I'm an audiobook addict. I don't know if any of you guys out there are audiobook addicts too. Um, I'm an audiobook addict, and so I use these primarily to listen to music and audiobooks, Spotify and audiobooks. Now in powered mode, this button does work for play, pause, and Spotify. So as I was walking around, and if I needed to have a conversation with someone, I could click it, and then I'd be able to pause my music or pause my audiobook and listen to the person who was talking, which is awesome because I don't have to reach into my pocket. Um, something that appears on a lot of mobile phone headsets, and uh, I definitely really appreciate the inclusion of it here on the Lucid Sound headsets. In gaming mode, this is the mute button as well. So if you're playing an intense game and you are, need to talk to someone who's in your house, you press it and bam, muted. Which is awesome. Uh, again, awesome. So I noticed that this headphones are really bass heavy. I'm going to turn off that LED there. It's screwed up my focus. Off, please. Really bass heavy headphones. Uh, even with the EQ settings modified, uh, even with the custom EQ, I tried all three of them and they're just really bass heavy. Um, this isn't really a problem for spoken word stuff if you're talking about, like, you know, listening to an audiobook, but it definitely becomes problematic if you're a big, uh, heavy listener like I am to sort of more folk and indie rock music and you're not really looking for the heavy bass notes. Um, Obviously, heavy inspiration drawn in the design here from the Beats headphones, um, in terms of just the style of the headphones, and I think maybe the audio engineering as well, because definitely feeling like there's uh, a little bit of that sort of need to reproduce really high-end bass in these headphones. Uh, so they do have great bass, but their treble is not as good, and they suffer in the mid-ranges, which for people that are really interested in audiobooks is something that you probably aren't interested in. But let's be honest, guys, you're probably not buying these headphones to listen to audiobooks. <laughs> these are gaming headphones first. Uh, despite their incredibly beautiful look, these are gaming headphones first. And that's what Lucid Sound is all about. Lucid Sound is all about producing a product that is a gaming headset, but you can still wear it out. I mean, I would have no trouble wearing this anywhere in the United States, uh, or, you know, if I was traveling abroad. And people would look at it and say, wow, that looks like a really good headset. And they would have no idea that it was, you know, primarily used for my Xbox One when I'm screaming at 12-year-olds in Call of Duty. So I think that that is the primary goal of this headset, and it accomplishes that very well. Uh, it also doesn't suffer in the sound quality department, it's just that it's definitely not a headset that is, you know, it's not a $400 Sennheiser headset. Uh, the price point on this guy is $99, unbelievably. Um, this is a fully featured gaming headset with on-ear controls, uh, everything you could pretty much possibly ever want out of a gaming headset, and it's $99. Um, the price point is absolutely just fantastic. I mean, I've, I don't think there's any powered on ear headsets in that range anywhere else. Um, I would not be able to give you an exhaustive list, but exhaustive list, but I could definitely tell you that I've never seen one myself. Um, and especially not one with these type of stylings. Um, as you can see, with three days of use, there's just a little bit of wear and tear here. Um, it's only, you know, that's not, not unexpected. I had these in a backpack <laughs> at least twice. Um, they're very durable. They're very sturdy. Um, the ear cup material, is, this material here is plastic, uh, so it's not like it's all metal construction, but this material here is plastic. This is metal, and then on the top here, there's a metal bar underneath this wonderful padding, this quilted padding. Uh, it is a good, solid construction. You know, you're not, you're not hearing any hollow noises when I tap on it. And uh, it's, it's a pretty hefty headset. Uh, probably weighs in between three and four pounds. So you know that it's not going to be the cheapy materials. Um, and it's not like it's one of those cheaper headsets where that all the weight is in the band up here. Uh, the weight in these is in the ear cups, and that's from those amplified stereo drivers. Um, this is really, overall, I would say, uh, definitely not going to be my daily wear headset, uh, only because I do prefer a headset that has a stronger mid-range, uh, so that when I'm listening to my audiobooks and my vocal heavy music, I can hear those in true-to-life true to tones, whereas most, someone who maybe is more interested in you know rap music or music that has a, a lot more bass to it 
probably would be more interested in the headset like this one as a data, daily driver. However, I will say that both my Xbox One and my Xbox 360 uh, lack headsets, and so this guy is perfect for that. Um, I'll be using it as my primary gaming headset, along with the microphone that comes with it. Uh, and if you want to see that microphone, we did an unboxing video as well. So if you want to take a look at it, I will grab it. It is right here. So this is the microphone. Let's see if I can get it out of here for you guys. And of course they also include a micro USB so that you can charge. Uh, I have, I don't know about you guys, but I have probably hundreds of these. Um, I feel like every device I buy nowadays has these. Uh, and then we have this microphone which is fully flexible. Uh, you know, really nice sort of gaming style microphone. Again, it has that Lucid Sound logo on it so you never know where it's going to go. You never have to worry about it. And this guy literally just plugs right in. Oh, so I can reach in there and get it. There we go. Plugs right in there, and then bam, you're in kind of gaming headset mode. Um, I would certainly never walk around with this as my aesthetic. Uh, I don't like having a microphone. But wow, look at that. There's three Lucid Sound logos on there. That's a really cool look, actually. Um, I would certainly never walk around with this as my aesthetic outside the the house, but if you want that gamer gamer look when you're traveling, you certainly have it. Um, so I hope that uh, this will help you guys decide if you if the Lucid Sound LS20s are for you or not. Um, I would say that there's very little question that this amplified universal stereo headset is an incredible value for 99 bucks. This thing is blow me away price wise. I mean, the fact that you can produce a product that has metal construction on-ear controls, here's the volume control again, and you got a button here, and there's a button here. Both sides have buttons. Two on-ear control buttons, volume control, uh, gaming headset, and gaming microphone for gaming headset mode, and keep this price point under $100 is just awesome. Um, mad props to the guys at Lucid Sound. My only complaints really being that the bass is a bit strong. Uh, I wish the bass ranges were a little bit lower. And uh, that the e even with the EQ settings that are on the headset, the bass ranges are just a little bit too high for someone who's not interested in bass-heavy music. All right, guys, this has been Fiona Fox with Kitsuga.com. Keep it right here. To keep all of your gaming news. Check out the website. Follow us on Twitter, at Kitsuga Gaming, on Twitch, Kitsuga underscore gaming, and uh, everywhere else, just at Kitsuga Gaming, guys. Uh, thanks very much, and have a great rest of your day.